Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We've got overcast skies right now. Ahead of some spotty rain showers move through the area throughout the morning and early afternoon. Only about a tenth of an inch right now, but we are expecting some more, quite a bit more, I think, uh, later on tonight. Take a look outside right now in Woodway. The sky is just mainly overcast. Our live Centex roof system sky tracker here in the Woodway area. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect. Areas in pink there from Gatesville down toward Lampasas, Comanche, Brownwood, Llano, all under the gun right now, at least through 9 o'clock. You notice nothing for Waco, Temple, Colleen, or College Station, at least at this time. We will watch this throughout the evening, and there's a pretty good chance there might be another watch issued as we go a little bit farther into the evening, but we'll keep you posted on the very latest. Right now, our exclusive Viper Radar, quiet weather across Waco, down toward Temple and Colleen, although some spotty showers trying to move up in Falls County. You can see just uh, south there we're moving through the Riesel area, all tracking to the north and to the east, but back to the west is where the main show is. This line of showers and thunderstorms is right along a cold front. And this cold front bringing some uh, heavy weather, some severe weather. We've had reports there are some winds over 60 miles per hour and some hail one inch in diameter and larger. So as it gets a little bit closer to us, I think our main severe weather threat will be those wind, uh, the winds, those winds over 70 miles per hour. There's uh, gusts over 70 miles per hour with, uh, again, some of those uh, winds sustained at 60. So we'll watch that very closely, followed by hail in the medium category. Still can't rule out tornadoes or flooding for the most part. If we see some training with some of these thunderstorms, then flooding obviously would become a problem. So let's time this out here for you. 7 o'clock this evening, some spotty showers may develop around the Hillsboro area, uh, up or around Mahaya, maybe just to the north. As I put this into motion, here comes the front. Now, again, the front may slow down a little bit or it may speed up. This is what we have right now to work with. And by 10 o'clock, showers and thunderstorms up and down the I-35 corridor. Again, main threat, strong wind. Wind over 60 miles per hour, gusting to 70. Any outdoor uh, items you have, especially those Halloween decorations, make sure they are uh, tied down or pull them inside because we're expecting this line to move through. This is at midnight. Notice how it clears Waco, Temple, and Kling, but the line begins to move through the Brazos Valley and College Station before it exits by 2 o'clock in the morning. Now behind it, we are looking at a lot of sunshine for the day, but it's going to be a very windy day. As a wind advisory will kick in as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Right now, the high pressure down to the south of us still influencing our weather Sunday into Monday. But I can tell you, much calmer weather on the way for Tuesday as well as Wednesday. And Wednesday, matter of fact, on the back side of the high, will warm the temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. But tonight and tomorrow, we're going to talk about showers and storms and wind. And there is that wind advisor that kicks in at 2 o'clock in the morning that does include Waco, Temple, and Clean. That runs through noontime tomorrow with wind gusts over 45 miles per hour. So here's the forecast for tonight. Mostly cloudy skies. I'm going 100% chance. I see that line coming. There's no way right now that it will miss us. We're looking at some of those strong so, to severe thunderstorms here with some strong winds. 52 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny. It's going to be breezy. Remember, the wind advisory in effect, 75 degrees will be the high. As we look ahead, this is the family RV, long range, 10 day forecast. Our next weather system then will move in Friday, late Thursday into Friday. Give us a 40% chance of showers and storms and then cool us down. And look at that. Don't forget. The Alzheimer's Walk on Saturday, Brasses Park East. We're all going to be down there. It's going to be a good time and great weather, too. A little cool out there, 70. And, of course, Monday is Halloween, 79 degrees for the trick-or-treaters. No raincoat to be uh, had on that day. And then you notice it's kind of the same story down toward Bryan and College Station. There's the front late Thursday into Friday. Weekend looks great. Also looks great for uh, Halloween on Monday with a high of 76. Oh.